Welcome back to Kim's Creations. And this is another collaboration with Marie Louise of Marie Louise Art. And this week, our challenge is to do the Shelly Art Pleat. So the Bloomin' Pleat. And um, big shout out goes to August Leroy of August Acrylic Art as well. Um, who's really just taken this to a whole other level. So Marie Louise and I challenged each other to do a pleat. So let's give her a shot. Um, I went out to the um, to Home Depot or to your local hardware store and you can pick up these uh, knives. Um, they're actually for, for um, plaster boarding to seal up the edges. So that's where you can find these. And I've got this. Um, you can probably hear from my voice. My allergies have kicked my butt. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to do um, a bloom blowout on this. So I thought I would do a swipe. So really quickly, my colors are Cadmium Yellow Deep Hue by Liquitex Basics. Masters Touch Orange, Liquitex um, Cadmium Deep Hue and Primary Red, Prism Violet and Liquitex Basics, TLP Mermaid, PBO Studio Acrylics in Blue Black, and then I'm gonna drizzle everything with um, TLP Twinkle. And my cell activator for this one is um, Folk Art Treasure Gold in Copper. So I thought I'd give that a shot. So I kind of have sunset vibes going. And uh, all right, let's see what we're gonna do here. Let me center this a little better. Um, my canvas is an eight inch um, square. And I think that's it. Um, I have taped the back. It's kind of wonky, um, but what the heck. Okay, I'm going to speed you up and just let you watch the process, and I'll pop back in with comments here and there. Now we're back to regular time and check out what happens here. Well, I am not getting any cells. I'm waiting and I'm waiting. Do you guys see any cells popping up? I sure don't. So still no cells with the copper. And I thought, well, let's break out my white CA and see what happens. I'm just messing around here and again not much is happening so this is where i decide to scrap so round two here we go again Back to the drawing board i guess i'm just going to put the colors on top of each other
Obviously my copper didn't work as a CA, but I wanted to use it because I didn't want it to go to waste. So I broke out both my black and my white CA, and I'm gonna load it up on that palette knife and swipe with that. Fingers crossed for cells this time. Okay. Here we go. Much, much better, yay. While I let those cells develop, I loaded up my small palette knife, just like I did before, uh, to try and get that yellow area that I missed with the big swipe. Oh, almost messed up already. Well I, well, I wouldn't have messed it up, but I'm gonna take some of this paint that's come off the edge and put it on here. And it'll act as a bit of a flow extender. You just kind of have to go for it, don't you? Okay. And then Ah, not too bad. All right, I'm going to grab this. Just want to push that in. Bit of bare canvas there. All right, I think it's time to spin. Nice. You know, I really like this. I'm tempted to do it one more time though. Um, oh, am, I, am I going to? It's so hard to decide what to do. I think I'm going to push the canvas that way because this side looks pretty good, but that needs to come off. So, I still need it to come that way more. Close. Now that I finally got that corner spun off, it's time to deal with those white spots. And if you take the end of your skewer and carefully just pop it right over the spot, it'll pull the surrounding paint in over it. Uh, it won't hide it completely usually, especially at this stage because the paint has spun out. So you've got white pillow underneath, but you can see that it is so much better and not as glaringly obvious. So that's a good little tip. Just use the end of your skewer to, um, to kind of dab those white spots.
Okay, I'm pretty happy with this piece, I have to say. Yeah, but I do think I'm gonna give it another go. Let's do a take three, and I'll be back as soon as I grab another canvas. It's a good thing I have these already prepped. Let's give you a little close up on that one. It's a pretty good shimmer in there. Here we go again. Another eight inch canvas and everything else is the same. Same colors and same CA. Okie dokie. I'm just redistributing the paint to get it in a better position for me to scoop up with that palette knife. As I was doing it this time, I, I found it hard to get my palette knife up under the paint. It was like it was suctioned on there. So you can just see it finally slid and, and loosened I so I could I scoop. The 10 inch knife now. Okay. Wow. Okay, let's give her, I'm gonna tilt it a little. All right, let's give her a spin. Can I just say, look how cool that is. <laughs> Damn it, I'm losing my blue again.
we're good. And here's this one, close up. It's kind of cool. Dried results coming up. Here is the dried first pleat. And uh, I want to show you the edges. Hopefully you can see that, uh, where the paint went down the sides. I love that. You all know that I like the the sides of the canvas to match the top. Um, definitely got a good pleat going. And while this is a little weird in the overall scheme of things, it does kind of look like a wave. It gives it that 3D, extra 3D effect. And check out this little guy. <laughs> that little guy I think is the favorite part of this whole thing for me. It's, you can even see the lines within that cell. So it's almost a painting unto itself, just in that one little part, little microcosm right there. Okay, I'm gonna back this back out and I am going to get the second one. Okay, we're back and here is number two. Again, both, uh, both paintings have their points of interest. And what I thought I wouldn't like initially is actually what makes it now for me. And it's these two parts. Um, it kind of just reminds me of a stained glass window. <laughs> but the pleats are all still there. It is definitely a fun technique. Uh, let me know which one of the two paintings is your favorite. And thank you all for being here. Thanks to Marie Louise of Marie Louise Art for, you know, being a part of this collaboration to just challenge each other and have fun while making art. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, and I will catch you on the next video. Bye for now.